his style was so rad. But then, of course, you know, you go through all the other guys, like a Kobe, who's just like doing everything he can. Um, but I think some of those guys lack a little bit of the fun, passionate entertainment side of it, where you're like, oh, yeah. You yeah. Know, it'd be fun if they were, if they could like entertain me a little bit and not just be like a robot. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, in, I, well, for my first question, because I like to see, I'm a libero, and this is why I tell other people, you know, back there as a libero you know, you're kind of in the back line. So you're trying to like creep up, like, let me hear like what's going on up there. I want to like say some crap. Like, what can you, like, what can you do? I just dug a ball. I mean, I guess I can try and smack talk as much as possible, but have you, have you ever, my first question, I, I have a couple here. My first question would be, have you ever thought out of a, a thought out a line? You're like, Oh, I'm going to hit this guy with this when I do this before a game or is this kind of come that's kind of. Yeah. Like, back dude, a few times before I'd play guys, it was before I even qualified with AVP. I would look up like in a triple A, like a CBVA, I would look up dudes like full names. And so I would say that if they went to run for a line shot early and you get the cutty or the opposite, right? They like run for the cutty. And I'm like, where are you going? But you would say their name in their entire <laughs> full name in the air. Cause you know, the only people that do that is like their parents when they're in trouble. Like no one says like Casey yeah. Ryan Patterson. So if you could like, dude, like I'd be like, <laughs> I would say their full name. And then like, where are you going, dude? Like, but when they hear their full name, they got so rattled. That was the only thing I think I ever pre-planned is I'd be like, all right, I'm playing these dudes first round. I know they're going to talk trash, but dude, I'm going to bring this. <laughs> and, and everyone knows, I mean, for those of you who don't know, Casey, you're, you're a family man, as you can see from the pictures behind you there. Oh, yeah. So have you yeah. ever uh, – do you ever try and get – I don't know if they're the age yet where they're participating in sports now. Do you ever kind of get them riled up? Like, I want you to go oh, out yeah. there and I want you to destroy that kid's spirits right now. <laughs> get in his ear and just absolutely destroy that kid. <laughs> <laughs> they are, I think there's I, like my boys are cashing guy and they're 11 and nine and they're playing basketball, baseball, whatever they can. And I just try to talk to them about when they're talking and they're feeling confident to have it be something that's different than just like a loud noise or just being like, yeah, what's up? Like being like a little bit more strategic about what you say. Personal. Even if it's, some, even if it's something <laughs> kind and they're like, but it's personal or it's like pretty witty that always comes across better and it affects the guys a little bit more. So yeah, yeah I'll talk to them and be like, dude, get in the so, key there. And just be like, yeah. bro, I'm a foot taller than you, dude. You're nine years old. I thought you were seven. Like, how are you allowed to play on my level? Like stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Brad down moment. Yeah. So, so I, I, I think everybody knows that you went to BYU and Gage is just, he just brought up the, the thing about him being a libero and not being able to trash talk. And that was the one, the one place my senior year, two years ago, I remember, I, I want to ask you what the crowd was like when you were at BYU because Gage, my senior year, that was the only time he just trashed off. It was to the crowd. He was waving by because we, we beat BYU. But like the it gets me riled up, man. BYU gets oh, me dude, riled he, up. He's I'm like, the exit, right now. <laughs> to the exit. He's like, he's like, the exit's that way. He's Let's playing. go, it's past curfew. Get to your dorms. You can only have chocolate milk before bed. No Diet Coke. <laughs> dude, exactly. BYU, when I was there, was the same, dude. They'd have, like, they had to actually implement those, like, uh, you know that, like, triangle barrier that's, like, padded? They put back mm -hmm. there. Did they have that when you guys were playing? So when they we were, were playing. They were kicking it into our legs. Yeah, when we're we were playing, it wasn't there because the whole football team would come and sit right and some the guys would like they would like just pull on your jersey before you serve and the whole the, all those guys they would split in half and they would sit on both sides and talk so much trash be looking up stats on you like where you grew up everything about you and so it was rowdy even when i was there it was crazy the the, the craziest thing i'd ever seen so when gage and i the show kavika showed the senior year at stanford uh when they won the national championship gage and i were the ball boys for the team that year no way uh <laughs> and I remember when BYU came into town, they, uh, the Stanford student section got in a ton of trouble because they, all the guys showed up with like eight baby dolls like each. They were carrying like, <laughs> they were rolling. Each of them had like eight different like, like baby dolls. And <laughs> that was like the funniest thing. Like from a BYU match, I thought that was like the funniest Amazing. way of right. likely. Brought, um, brought all the kids. You guys were ready to yeah. play. <laughs> 21 exactly. I got eight already. <laughs> <laughs>